Welcome to Ring the Bell Combat TV. It's your boy Dan the Man. Please press that subscribe button if it's your first time watching and help your boy grow the channel. Anyways, can Francis Ngannou survive in the boxing ring? After being released by the UFC, can Ngannou really survive in the boxing ring? Tony Bellio said something that's got me thinking. And I think I agree with him. He said Francis Ngannou would not survive in the ring against anyone of any note. And I agree with him. These are two different disciplines. Yes, we all know Francis Ngannou can punch. But can he really go up against the, the top notch of the heavyweight division in boxing? These guys that's been honing their skills for years. I don't think so. He's going to have a puncher's chance. But I don't see him beating anyone in the top 10. Top 15 for that matter. Look. It, it, it's, it's all good when you're dealing with guys that, you know, might not be the best boxers out there. That might be good strikers. Good wrestlers, but not the best boxers. It's all good standing with those guys and and throwing caution to the wind and knocking them out. But against skilled boxers, who, like I said, been honing their skills for a decade or so, I don't see Francis Ngannou beating these guys, man. I've got to be honest. It was all right entertaining the, the the idea of him fighting a Tyson Fury when he was still the UFC champ. It would have been more like an exhibition fight, you know? But if he's going to jump in the boxing ring fully as a professional boxer, I don't see him beating any of the top guys. I really don't. Ah, oh, he's 36 years old. Ah, oh, in boxing, in the heavyweight division, 36 ain't really that old. Because most heavyweights peak in their 30s. But to come into the boxing game in your 30s, now that's a whole different story. Yes, he's a fighter. In great physical condition. But he's not a boxer. There's levels to this, man. There's a whole lot of learning to go through. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about man taking you down. You ain't got to worry about no no kicks and everything else, that uh, every other threat that comes with the UFC. But when you just got your two, like, the two fists, just two weapons to deal with, it's a whole different discipline, man. You need a whole different skill set. And I don't think Francis Ngannou has it. And I don't think at his age, he's got enough time to learn everything that he needs to learn about boxing at the highest level. Not at 36. So, hey, good luck to the guy. I think being a boxer has always been his dream. And uh, if it's just about him realising his dream and stepping in them and uh, being a professional boxer... And um, yeah, if that's his dream, 
to step in there and just try and mix it up with the uh, inboxing, then good luck to the guy. But I'll, do I see him competing against the top guys in the heavyweight division? I don't think so. I might be wrong, but I really don't think Ngannou's got a chance of competing against the top guys, let alone winning a belt in boxing. But hey, I might be wrong, man. So uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. And um, yeah, Francis Ngannou. <laughs> As a boxer, I don't, <laughs> I don't see him doing anything in a in a. I gotta be honest, I don't see him doing anything in boxing of substance, you know. But we shall see. Like I always say, anyway, spin your boy Thunder Man, ring the bell, Combat TV, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Salute.